church membership and our online viewing audience. We're so thankful that you have joined us this morning. We say to God be the glory for the great things he has done. What an honor it is. What a privilege it is that we have made it over into 2022. Only God could have kept us the way that he has. We want to remind you this morning, we will celebrate the Lord's Supper. So please go ahead and gather your accidents so that you are prepared for that time. We have the honor of doing devotion this morning. Our Old Testament scripture will come from Lamentations chapter three, verses 22 and 23. And it reads, because of the Lord's great love, we are not consumed for his compassions never fail. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. Our New Testament scripture comes from 1 Peter chapter 1, verses 18 through 21. And it reads, For you know that it was not with perishable things such as silver or gold that you were redeemed from the empty way of life handed down to you from your forefathers but with the precious blood of Christ, a lamb without blemish or defect. He was chosen before the creation of the world, but was revealed in these last times for your sake. Verse 21, through him you believe in God, who raised you from the dead and glorified him, so your faith and hope are in God. May God bless the readers, hearers, and doers of his holy word. Let's have a word of prayer. Please bow your heads. Heavenly Father, we just thank you for this day. We thank you for your love, your mercy, and your grace. We thank you for being the almighty, all-knowing, ever-present God. Apart from you, Father, there is none other. We honor you, Father, as, as we do all, every day, Father God. We ask for forgiveness of our sins, and we ask that you cleanse our hearts of all unrighteousness. 
Father God, we thank you for this day. We thank you for your love, your mercy, and your grace. Father God, we thank you for allowing us to wake up this morning. We thank you for putting clothes on our backs and putting roof over our heads and foods in our mouths, Father God. And Father God, we ask that you continue to bless us and protect us, Father God, with all the things that are going on in this country, Father God, from the coronavirus to violence, Father God, people losing their lives senselessly, Father God, accidents and incidents, Father God. We just ask that you continue to protect us, Father God, and keep us, Father God. Keep your hedge of protection around us and about us, Father God. Father God, we ask that you bless the families, Father God, and supply every needs that they may have, Father God whether it's financial needs, emotional needs, um, just in every area, Father God, we need you, Father God, in our lives right now in the name of Jesus. Father God, we ask that you bless the word that's going to go forth on today, Father God. We ask that you bless it, Father God, that it touches our lives, touches our minds, our bodies, our spirits, Father God. We ask that you bless the person delivering the word, Father God, bless their lives and richly, Father God. And Father God, we ask that you bless our church and our church family, Father God, and our our online viewers, Father God, just for being on this call, on this, on this, uh, on this viewing today, Father God. Bless us, Father God. And let us know, Father God, that you are the Almighty, Father God, and you are in control, Father God. That we can lean on you for anything, Father God. That you are with us, Father God, and our going in and our going out, Father God. Father God, we honor you, Father God. We give you praises. We give you glory. It's in Jesus' name we pray and ask these blessings. Amen and amen. Welcome to Berlin Tabernacle Baptist Church. We engage ourselves to proclaim the good news of Jesus Christ in both voice and vitality to the extent that all believers would experience spiritual maturity and further expand this same ministry of the kingdom and mission of God's grace to the masses. 
Welcome back and Happy New Year! You can visit our website at any time at www.barintabernacle.co. E-giving through Giveify is our online giving option. We want you to know that it is easy, fast, and secure. You may also give by the mail at any time using the P.O. Box listed. Remember to drop your tithes and offering off today between 12 and 1 p.m. Please have your elements ready. Because of the rise of the Omicron virus in the state, let's exercise caution for the next four weeks and use this social media platform which is available to us. For the month of January, an unprecedented rise in the Omicron COVID-19 various is anticipated. Starting this Sunday, January 2nd, worship services will be on the social media platform. Per pastor, thank you so much. Please be in prayer for everyone. Each Wednesday at 6 a.m. is our virtual intercessory prayer session. Practicum and Biblical Teaching is an online eight-week class every Thursday at 7 p.m. from January 13th to March 10th with Dr. Hurley Clayton Jr. You are welcomed. The Leadership Conference will be on January 30th, Repairing the Broken Breaches. Pastor's Bible Study will resume on January 12th. When Will Manuel returns on Saturday, February 5th. This has been your news, updates, and events. He died. 